name is Marina Kratofil. I'm currently working as a senior security engineer at a very large chemical company. And also by day and by night I'm a security researcher. Uh, I've been doing working as, as a researcher for almost 10 years by now. And I'm specializing in offensive security, so basically I'm studying attacker techniques and approaches when exploiting industrial control systems. So there is an organization in the USA which is called uh, MITRE, and they develop uh, um, frameworks which describe adversarial techniques, uh, tactics techniques uh, <coughs> when exploiting like uh, networks and systems. And they developed this framework for enterprise and mobile. And right now they're developing this framework for industrial control systems. The problem with developing this framework is that uh, in an enterprise domain, it's solely based on the real world exploitation. But in industrial control system domains, we have too few cases for real attacks. So we basically, we as researchers should and shall serve as an input for this framework and this is where I've been sharing uh, some of my, like I've been showing example of exploitation and they, I was describing how that would translate into the tactics and techniques which could become part of this framework. A lot of people who um, just know traditional cyber exploitation like IT system exploitation that believe that cyber physical exploitation is extremely hard, which is true, it's hard. Implementation and execution of this attack will ideally involve uh, like interdisciplinary team with people who are specializing on intrusion, implementing exploits, and the team of the technologists or the engineers who understand the physical process, for example, um, chemical production or petrochemical or robotics, so that they could engineer a, a desired um, physical scenario, which then they will translate into the cyber attacks. In general, especially when it comes to engineering damage scenario, I always work with experts. So, for example, in one of the scenarios which I showed in uh, two years ago, uh, destroying a pump, I actually traveled to a pump production facility. I talked to the engineers in order to educate myself how do I damage a pump. So sometimes you have to actually like read something like extra, but. Uh, yeah, a lot of things will be already in the manual. Open the manual and everything what is harmful for the filter will be stated there. So don't do this, this and this because it damage filter irreversibly. So what I have to do as an attacker, just exactly do that. Just knowing that, for example, over pressure will kill the filter is not enough. Now you have to actually implement it. You need to know like how do you even ignite a, such a high pressure in that pipe. You have to do then a lot of tricks. Like an attacker is always making, applying the tricks. That's the same. We have to do a lot of tricks in order to be able to achieve that high pressure which normally should not be ever there because it's harmful and then still to implement it, these attacks in the form of exploits, like basically to program it. So it's a lot of work. One of the easiest uh, and a very damaging scenario is um, like explosion which could be implemented relatively easy. So if you remember like I think it was this week or maybe last week there have been a drone attacks on the petrochemical uh, facilities in Saudi Arabia. So imagine that if you as an attacker will be able just to cause a leakage of combustible substance and then you uh, fly a drone which will ignite it and then you have an explosion. That is not that difficult attack to implement. Let's talk about one of the most dangerous one and which was actually also hard. It is a Triton. So Triton was an implant, so basically you inject the malicious code into the memory of the controller and what makes it to stand out that it was an implant for safety instrumented system. So safety instrumented system uh, is used in the petrochemical facilities to prevent explosions and toxic releases. So it's basically meant to guard and protect humans in the plant from those hazardous events because otherwise we have casual casualties. When the attacker is manipulating the safety instrumented systems. The problem was, yes, is an, you, you will achieve your damaging uh, goal, but you will also highly likely will cause human casualties, which is unacceptable. So I would say, so the implant, the difficulty of implant was very high uh, because they have to reverse engineer the firmware, Injection was very hard, getting access to the plant was a very long lasting intrusion, so the execution was uh, hard, the implant, it was a sophisticated attack. By this point in time, we really already, everybody understands like what are the attacker capabilities and they understand the risks that 
the cyber physical attacks are real. The problem is that fixing the issues, you know, industrial control systems started caring about security just recently. And fixing all the issues in all the facilities, it takes time and it takes money. So it's a planning of efforts, like budgeting, uh, human efforts, and so on. So it's a very long-term uh, project. And basically, what the type of security what I'm doing is quite advanced. It's already at lowest level. You need advanced defenses. Uh, you actually need to talk to vendor because you need also to have certain, for example, exploitation preventing, uh, prevention techniques on the embedded systems like embedded controllers. And even if you will start demanding it at, from vendors right now, it will take how many, 10 years until we start having it in our devices. So it's an extremely long-term process. So the understanding is there. Uh, companies are doing, the, for example, making more secure remote access. Previously, it could be just some simple VPN or DSL modem with just password protected. Right now, the companies employ more and more like mature solutions for remote access with two-factor authentication. Uh, they segregate control network from the business network with a proper demilitarized zone, with all proper access control, jump service, and so on. But it takes time.